Okay, Mackie, well, it's good to see you again. Obviously, the airport pipeline is, is or the airport privatization pipeline is looking a bit better than it was this time last year. There Correct. seem to be many opportunities. Correct. What does that look like from CDPQ's point of view? Well, we're very interested and pleased to see the level of activity in the airport sector uh, in terms of recent transactions, things like uh, and the successfully completed swap between Ontario Teachers and Macquarie. Um, so, uh, recently, our partner Ferrovial in BAA did sell down a participation in the company uh, to um, a group uh, led by Elinda. Uh, so all of the, these things are very important for us to determine uh, proper levels of valuation for the airport space. Um, in our specific case, as you know, we're already quite significantly involved in uh, the airport space, uh, basically through a BAA in which we have exposure to half a dozen airports in the UK and in Scotland, and also uh, via the partnership with the Octif uh, Airport, mm -hmm. um, where we also have uh, exposure to German airports, uh, Sydney Airport and Athens Airport, and of course Budapest Airport in Hungary. So we're already heavily invested. Mm -hmm. It's a sector that we're committed into long term, mm -hmm. and so we're clearly very closely monitoring the activity in the space. Mm -hmm. Very good. And what are the most interesting things you've heard this morning so far at GAD? Uh, interesting uh, conversation so far. I would say that uh, there are um, a couple of things uh, that seem to uh, to stand out um, in in the, the discussion. Uh, one uh, first part is is clearly that everybody is referring to uh, the crisis and what kind of impact uh, it could have uh, in the airport space. Uh, there is clearly an economic slowdown in. Uh, a number of geographies, uh, f uh, first of all in uh, uh, the Eurozone with all the uh, concerns about the Greek economy, for example. So there is a lot of uh, discussion about what kind of impact this could have on uh, the expected passenger growth. Um, my view on this is that clearly it is likely to have uh, a short-term negative impact. However, what we have seen over a long time term uh, period is that uh, the airport uh, uh, sector has been quite resilient and has been able to do reasonably well and still provide uh, positive uh, and solid growth over the long term. So clearly a short term impact in this case which has to be monitored very closely but the long term trend should be positive. 2008 was a good example of that where uh, we had a major crisis and uh, today we're at the levels which in pretty much all cases globally have exceeded the, the sort of lows uh, or the pre-2008 uh, level, mm. uh, levels. The second uh, interesting comment uh, I've been hearing a lot today is about the sovereign uh, mm -hmm. uh, credit uh, uh, crisis and the impact it's going to be having and uh, many people are speculating on the fact that this is likely going to lead to more airport privatizations mm -hmm. because airports are very capital intensive uh, uh, in, uh, is a very capital intensive industry and with governments having to be increasingly careful about uh, their budget and finances I think there will be the consequence of that situation will be uh, more uh, a requirement uh, to call upon private capital to mm -hmm. help fund these significant capexes because at the same time there is that general long term trend where airports need additional capacity and more modern facilities. Mm -hmm. Okay and obviously GAD only just started, but uh, what, what, what's the best thing about GAD? GAD uh, is, is clearly one of uh, the, the, the major events uh, in the industry that I attend uh, annually. Uh, for very simple reason, it's, it's very unique uh, in its uh, scale. Uh, you have representatives from many sides of the industry and you do have everybody present at the conference for two or three days. So from a, a networking perspective, it's very unique to meet with other financial investors like the CAS institutional investors, the major banks, uh, CEOs of the major airports, some of the top consultants, etc. So unique blend of uh, key people in place uh, with uh, whom you can exchange. That's the first uh, interesting thing with GAD. Uh, the second I would say is that having all these people in one location 
is also an, a great way to get the pulse of the market, you know, rather than going and mm -hmm. uh, making a survey, just being able to speak with everybody gives mm -hmm. you a great feel about what are the trends and mm -hmm. uh, what's likely to happen in the market mm -hmm. in the coming months. Great. Well, thank you, Mackie. Pleasure, Clive. Thank you.